this is Armageddon News. In this broadcast we discover that ancient Hebrew holds a new hidden Bible code. We discuss biblical secrets from the book of Genesis. And we unveil messianic prophecies surrounding the Christ. Good day. To understand the new Bible code, we first need a basic understanding of the God of the Bible. The same holiness, substance, and divine character, such as love, joy, and mercy, is the very essence which makes God who He is, and His unique nature, which we have depicted as water, exists within all the three persons of God. Just as water itself does not stop being water, even if it is separated into three parts. So too, can God himself exist in three parts, and still be one God. Just as water, does not lose its uniqueness. Just because, it's in three containers. This is how God, can declare that he is one God. Yet also three persons. And for those of you who still don't understand. Just imagine that God, exists as three identical puzzle pieces, which all fit together, to create one picture, of God. 1 John 5 7 says, For there are three that bear witness in heaven. The Father, the Word and the Holy Spirit, and these three, are, 1. The very beginning of Genesis. God uses the word Elohim, to describe himself, which is actually, a plural form, of the word God because all three persons of God, were involved in the creation process. Why else would God use, a plural name, to describe himself? Unless he had more than one part, to himself. And in Genesis 1:26, God said, Let us make, man in our image. After our likeness. Some maintain that God was speaking to the angels. When he said, us. And our but mankind was never made in the image, of angels. But only in God's image. So he can't be talking to the angels. Saying let us make man, in our image. Clearly there is more than one part, to God. And as this verse shows, God does indeed talk, to the other parts of himself. Which is exactly what Jesus did, when he prayed to the Father. And God did not make one being but two. He made Adam and Eve. But for Eve to be like God she had to be made of exactly the same DNA and flesh of Adam. Indeed, they were two separate beings, and yet they shared the same flesh and blood. For God took a rib, out of Adam to make Eve. So they were just, like God. For they both shared the same, flesh. Just as the Father, shares the same essence or flesh with the Son. And the Holy Spirit, is the one who flows like water, between them. For he is the life and breath of God. So too, did Adam and Eve also, share the same life or blood, which flowed in both their veins. The Bible tells us that the Word of God, has always existed, with God. He was not created, because he himself, is also God. John 1 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word, was God. He was in the beginning, with God. All things came into being through Him. And without Him, not even one thing, came into being that has come into being. In Him, was life. And the life, was the light of men. Clearly the Bible tells us that the Word of God is a person. And that person is also God. Have you ever wondered what Jesus meant, when he said, I am the Alpha, and the Omega? This is another way of saying, I am the beginning and the end, the first and the last. But he is really saying so much more. Jesus was declaring, I am God. I am that part of God called the Word. The reference to the first and the last comes from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah 44 6 says, Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, 
I am the first, and I am the last, and beside me, there is no God. So being the first and the last, is clearly claiming to be God. Which Jesus claimed. Now that we have clarified who the first and last is, let's move on. When John wrote, in the beginning was the word. He's trying to draw the reader's attention, back to the beginning, of the book of Genesis. For the beginning was, when God created all things by his word. As you are aware, most of the New Testament, was originally written, in the ancient Greek. However, Jesus spoke Aramaic. So, while John writes in Revelation, I am the Alpha, and the Omega, what Jesus would say in Hebrew or Aramaic, would be, I am the Aleph, and the Tav. Alpha, is the first letter of the Greek alphabet, and Omega is the last. But the first letter, of the Hebrew, is the Aleph. And the last, is the Tav. The real essence of what Jesus meant, can only be revealed, when we translate it back into Hebrew. And it's then that we discover, a wonderful secret. This phrase did not originate with the book of Revelation. But actually comes from the very first sentence, in the book of Genesis. So when Jesus says to John, I am the Aleph and the Tav, he is in fact clarifying, a mystery that has existed since the Torah, was first written. The first sentence of the Bible is most frequently translated, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. John's Gospel also begins with, in the beginning. And, right in the middle of the first Hebrew sentence of Genesis, is an untranslated word. Which you will only find, in the Hebrew Bible. In fact, it is untranslatable because it is not a word at all. It is simply, the Aleph, and the Tav. These two letters, have remained a mystery to the Jewish scholars for years. Actually, it is to this Aleph, and Tav, that Jesus was referring. Just as the book of Revelation begins and ends with Jesus saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega. So too does the Bible also begin, with those very same two letters which refer to the word of God himself. The Aleph, and Tav. John writes, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning, with God. All things came into being through him, and apart from him, nothing came into being, that has come into being. Jesus is the word of God. He is God's word, from the first letter of the alphabet, the Aleph to the last, the Tav. He is right there with God, in that very first sentence of Genesis. He is the living, word of God from Genesis, to Revelation. He is the mouth of God, and when he speaks, things are created, by his word.